So this really has been a very eventful day, and today we're doing a news recap to bring you up to speed on everything Classic WoW, basically official hardcore classic servers, and also Wrath of the Lich King Classic, both in the same video. I will also be dividing the video into chapters so you can check out whatever you are interested in, by just skipping ahead to the chapters you want. So here's a small list of things we will be talking about today. Number 1 Official Hardcore Server Launch Date, or at least a somewhat indicator on when it's launching. Number 2 Blizzard Fixing Bugs and Preparing for the Hardcore Launch Itself. Number 3 Classic Era PvP Rank Reset is coming, with patch 1.14, or basically the patch where Hardcore Servers are being added. Number 4, Wrath Classic Phase 3 release date, and number 5, the last one, probably the least important one that nobody cares about, right? Wrath Classic WoW token, nobody's talking about this, it's basically something that nobody really cares about, so we're just gonna have a small discussion about it. Either way, let's get into it boys. So number 1, official hardcore server launch date, or at least a somewhat indicator on when it's launching. So for this one we're doing both, we're doing two of them in one basically, so Classic Era, PvP rank reset is coming with patch 1.14.4. And let's read out the entire blue post. We are preparing for a new 1.14.4 patch for WoW Classic Era to support WoW Classic Hardcore Realms. In addition to WoW Official Hardcore Realms, this patch will also include a large update to the vanilla PvP honor system for all Classic Era Realms. This patch will completely reset all the current honor system ranking progress on all Classic Era Realms when it's released. While we do not have a specific date to share just yet for when the patch will be released, we want you to know that it will likely arrive in the next 8 to 12 weeks. If you are in the middle of ranking in WoW Classic Era, you might want to take that time frame into account before continuing. If you are about to start ranking a character, you may not have enough time to hit rank 14 before the patch arrives and your progress will be lost because once again, it's a complete reset. Please know that we do not take something like a PvP ranking progress reset lightly, the updates we're making to the classic era version of the game are required for the long term health of that version of the game. We look forward to providing more information on this when we open the classic era patch 1.14.4 PTR sometime in the next several weeks. Okay, so there's actually quite a few things to take away from this. Number one, we're getting a PvP rank reset. They also said they do they are doing a large update to the vanilla PvP owner system. Whether that large update is just the reset itself, or if they're doing something else in addition to the reset, we don't know just yet, but we will know more in the future. Number two is that the PTR is not coming out when I what it was because I was really sure we're getting a PTR this week for hardcore servers, but it says right here in the next several weeks, so I would actually not be expecting a PTR any time before the next two or three weeks, probably. We also got one more thing that is really important to think about here, and that is the fact that they say this is the patch that is coming out to support WoW Classic Hardcore Realms, so it's the patch where Hardcore Realms are also coming out, right? And they say it will likely arrive in the next 8 to 12 weeks, and while they do not confirm anything here, they do say likely arrive in the next 8 to 12 weeks, and just take that time frame into account before continuing your ranking progress. So while this does not give us an exact launch date for the official Hardcore servers, it gives us a time frame, and based on this time frame it's basically anywhere from the 20th of July to the 20th of August, or like the 23rd, based on today being the 23rd. 23rd. So somewhere to like the middle to late July to middle to late August, and if I was to put any bets myself I would say either towards the end of July or towards the beginning of August for a launch date, but we'll have to wait and see, like in that case it would be the 2nd of August, right? Or maybe even like if we go back one more time, it could be the 2nd of August or the 26th of July. Basically somewhere in that area, so the middle of July to the middle of August, is when you should currently be expecting these hardcore servers to actually come out, which means you have a lot of time to practice if you want to practice, and that is what I'm currently doing just to answer one more question. In this video, while we're talking about this, some people are wondering if I'm currently playing on the Classic Era servers and playing hardcore, 
Is it worth continuing, considering hardcore servers are coming out soon, and my progress will basically be lost? Well, the current Classic Era servers aren't going anywhere, you can still progress your character, and the way I'm looking at it, it's practice. Hardcore is actually quite difficult, you need to know which quests to do, and which ones to skip, and which zones can be dangerous. So doing that practice now can actually save you when the hardcore service comes out. So at least now you know you have roughly 8-12 to 12 weeks to practice hardcore on the current era servers before doing the real deal. Next up on the agenda today, Blizzard is fixing bugs. Water pathing is broken in Classic Era Realms, more so on EU than NA apparently according to what I've heard when I'm streaming. I am streaming hardcore pretty much every single day by the way on Twitch. If you want to check me out, the link is down below, it would be very much appreciated, but either way, here we go. In WoW Classic Era Realms, the water pathing is very broken. It is a very common issue, turtles and murlocs suffer from this bug the most. My Voidwalker keeps desummoning when I pass through the lakes or other small bodies of water, and thanks to this, Hinterland's chicken quests is undoable, as is the one in Fellwood escorting quest of an ancient. Actually, the Hinterland's chicken quest works perfectly fine, you just have to swim in the water while letting the chicken get bugged out, but that one is doable, I've done it on two characters, but the Fellwood one, that is actually impossible, at least to my knowledge. Now here's where this gets interesting, I grand actually answered to this, so thank you for the report, we have been working on to entangle this issue for quite some time and we are happy to report that we successfully deployed a fix this morning for realms in the US region that were affected by this. We are going to be applying the same fix to EU realms affected by this later this evening or the morning of 5.24 in EU during their weekly maintenance. So hopefully after the maintenance this thing should be fixed, like all water pathing should be fixed and hopefully that also fixes the underwater disconnecting problem too. But it just shows that Blizzard do know about the bugs and they're working on fixing the bugs they can fix. Because patch 1.14 will breed some new life into the classic hero servers and they need to know they're actually playable, right? If we just go back two weeks in time, they also made it so that the Fire's Traitor is no longer killable by players of the opposite faction to prevent griefing, so they're obviously trying to work on some issues here, right? Which is a good thing. Now let's go on to Wrath Classic for Phase 3, which was actually announced, we have a release date now for Phase 3, we also have the release date for the raids itself, for the Trial of the Crusader, right, that raid, so we know exactly when it's coming out, we know when the updates are coming, and speaking for myself, I've been waiting for this for quite some time. We have been stuck with Phase 2 for the longest time right now, we have had Ulduar for so long, and I'm gonna be real, I haven't even done Ulduar because I got burnt out in Phase 1, playing Noxramus on quite too few, quite like a few too many characters, putting too many hours into Wrath. And when uh, Phase Two came out, I was already starting to play Classic WoW again, and I'm having so much fun playing Classic WoW, like Vanilla WoW, right? So I pretty much just jumped over Ulduar. So now it's time for Phase Three. We're getting Phase Three. Phase 2 has been out for way too long if you ask me, but then again Ulduar is a pretty big raid, and I believe they said Phase 2 would last for some time, but either way, we actually know when Phase 3 is coming out, so that's a big thumbs up. Now for the news that has pretty much broken the internet, or I shouldn't even say that dude, but hey, WoW tokens are now available on Wrath Classic. Everyone's gonna be celebrating tonight, pop some champagne, pop whatever. It's time to get rich boys, just cash out, spend some real life cash, get that WoW token, Token and get that gold. As of right now, you can basically buy one WoW token, which is 20 bucks, right? And that will give you 10,000 gold. The actual value of this is going to go up and down, it's based on supply and demand. And here's just a quick TLDR of how that works for anyone who hasn't played retail and you don't know how the WoW token works. You basically just go to their cash shop or whatever, you put in your card info, you buy the WoW token like you would buy any other Blizzard service, and that will then be put on the auction house for you, and when someone buys that token, you will then be handed the gold. And if you have gold and you're thinking about flipping this, you can't buy the WoW token for gold, now to then resell it later. When you buy the WoW token for gold and it's in your bag, it's basically in your bag. You have to use it either for game time or for Blizzard balance. Or yeah, game time or Blizzard balance basically. So you can't buy it to resell it, basically. 
Now the WoW token has obviously been put in to basically combat two things, two major problems that Wrath Classic has, which is botting and gold buying and gold selling, which have been plaguing this game ever since basically the late stage of Classic WoW, and it's only really gotten worse with the free DKs we pretty much got when Wrath came out, botting was running rampant, and gold buying and gold selling is a huge problem, and Blizzard obviously wanted to cash in on some of those profits, and who can really blame them? Here's the thing though. They haven't really done anything, well they have done slightly like something to try to ban some bots, but they have been putting in the minimum effort possible, because that way they can come out with a WoW token as a overall solution to botting, gold buying, gold selling, and just make it like so they can take a portion of the cut of the profits, which is not how I personally would like to see botting being handled or gold buying being handled, just deal out more harsh bans, be more hands on, and have some action active game masters, but we got the WoW token, I actually called this way back in phase 1 of TBC, when I said WoW tokens would be coming out either towards the end of TBC or at the start of Wrath, and nobody believed me, but here we are, it actually happened, just like I said over 2 years ago, and here we go. It, it's out. So you can now buy gold for real life cash if you want to. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I personally think it's a bad thing, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you, do you like the WoW token? Do you dislike it? Let me know in the comments down below. That's pretty much what I have for you today. A news recap and what a day it's been. It's been a lot of news in a very short time period, but I'm thankful we actually got the news, a lot of like updates, and we know roughly when to expect things. We have a launch date for phase 3 of Wrath Classic, and we have a launch date expected period, or whatever you want to call it for the hardcore servers. Either way, once again, leave a like down below, leave a comment, subscribe for more videos, check me out on Twitch, that's pretty much it, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you again very soon.